This video will teach you how to do peptide docking in Molsoft's ICM Pro software. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our webpage. So in this example, we are going to use the PDB code 1GYB. We're going to redock this peptide as shown here. I'll just start from scratch. So we go to PDB search here, enter 1GYB, 1PDB one search, 1GYB, one press search. So the, the peptide we're going to dock is the E chain of this of this structure E has shown here. So first we need to convert to an ICM object. So we right click on the name of the PDB, choose convert PDB, so right click here in the red and choose convert PDB. There are other videos which describe the options here, but I'll just go OK. It'll take a minute or so to convert this object. So it's adding hydrogens and it's optimizing the hydrogen bonding network. So now it's converted, we can then go to docking menu and say, oh, first actually, let's, uh, before we redock, we need to make sure we can remove the, um, remove the, the peptide from the pocket so we can dock to that pocket. So we right click on the E chain and say move from object. So now we have space in the in the structure to dock to. So we're just going to rename this object as peptide just for clarity. And then we're ready to start the docking. So we go to docking menu. Choose new project, I call it peptide underscore one GYB one. And then we can define the sites by selecting the peptide because the peptide is in the right pocket. Or you can use the identify pocket sites option. So I'm just going to select the peptide and then go back to the docking menu, choose new project again and say define site around selected molecule. So now you see these green crosses in the protein, which represents where we're going to dock to. So go back to docking menu, new project. Everything is okay, so we just press okay. And we have this probe, and you can watch other videos to, to learn about this, but basically that's where the docking simulation is gonna start. You just leave it in the center. And then we have the, the box, and the box uh, is usually a reasonable size, but um, with a peptide, if you're making a peptide longer, you may need to be Make sure that the box fully covers your pocket so you can drag it on the corners. Just go, go. Okay, so now it's ready to dock. So we dock um, peptides from text in a table. So the three letter code of the peptide in the table. So you right click, we can extract that from this peptide to redock it. If we right click on the E chain here, Zoom in, right click on the E on the peptide and choose the option extract sequences to table. Go OK. Then you can, uh, then you have your sequence here, you see. You can add N term terminal, you can add, um, you can add a C terminal, you can add D amino acids if you want to as well. I'll, in the link below, I will, um, in, the, in the description below, I'll add a link to. Uh, some tutorials and then you right click if you want to add more rows you can right click and choose um, copy row for example and then paste you could change the residue to whatever you want um, just by edit edit cells by double click you can um, then just change the text here like to an alanine um, you can add as many rows as you want to dock then you go to the docking menu and you go to dock peptide table 
Oh, just one other thing. The column name needs to be sequ called sequence, lowercase sequence. Peptides, it can be called anything you want. This is the table. So it's the table. You can choose undoc, uh, just not dock immediately, so we can just see the options. And in the peptide table, we have this sidebar, which allows us to change the thoroughness. And the number of confirmations. So thoroughness is the length of the run, the effort, and number of confirmations is going to return. And then a bit further down in this bar, there's the option to dock. You can also, in this example, we're going to allow the ligand to be completely free, but you can bias it according to some secondary structure if you wanted to. You can so you can have like maybe the first three residues being helix or whatever, and then um, underscore underscore would be uh, not defined or e for beta sheet. Uh, but we're going to leave it completely free, so we're not having any bias or restraint. And just go, go dock, click on the dock button here, and um, it will dock. When the docking is finished, you will see a, a, a message here, and it will make your hit list. And then you can click on the on the row to look at the hits or sort by score, and you can see your dock ligands, your dock peptides here. This is a comparison of the example. So it docks in this example pretty well between the um, gray, which is the docked, and the green, which is the crystal structure. Thank you.